What's up guys? So we're gonna make a quick video here on how to resolve Apex crashing. So for me, it's been like real recent, especially with season 15. We got this new Broken Moon map or whatever the heck the map's called. It's more like Broken Game map. And anyhow, um, I've noticed that it's not just me. I'll be playing with randoms and they disconnect. Then you ask them in chat or voice chat or whatever and you say, hey, did you disconnect? And they said, no, my game crashed. I'm like, well, how did it crash? Did the screen just freeze? And they're like, yeah, the screen just froze. And so, and it's happened numerous times. And, and, and for me, it's happened like all the time. It's really frustrating. I would say anytime I start playing Apex, the first 15 to 20 minutes, the game probably dumps three times. And um, so the, the, the fix for me in this case, I'll explain it in a bit here. Um, but I think what the, I think the cause in my case was because when I upgraded the game, so like we, the update came out right for season 15 and when it went to update, it sat there for a really long time trying to verify the files or whatever it was doing. But I mean, when I say a long time, it was like it was like 45 minutes and never completed. And then my buddy over here, he's updating his and it, I think it took like a top of five minutes and this whole thing was updated. So his internet's a little bit faster than mine, but that's, that's beside the point. Mine wasn't doing anything. It wasn't even downloading. It was just sit there and stuck. Did it finish on its own? Yes, eventually it did. But I think what was happening maybe is it was stuck on some file and couldn't actually get it to update successfully. Just a guess. So um, looking at EA's document here, let me move over here and I'll show you also what I'm talking about when it goes and freezes. So like basically this is the idea here. So I'm playing the game and that's it. Frozen frame. So real frustrating, obviously, if you're playing the game, the only thing you have is to exit it out and, and uh, reload. And hopefully you get pulled back into the game if you didn't die. Um, typically for me, it was always like the most, you know, terrible situation that you could be in in the game and then it freezes on you right in the middle of a battle and it just locks up. All right. Um, so EA's got a guide here on troubleshooting Apex, crashing, freezing. Um, the first one is literally upgrading or downgrading your video card's driver. Definitely a good idea. When I got the 3070 Ti, I had to do that. Um, however, caveat there would be that if you just updated your video drivers and now it's crashing, the recommendation would be that you you um, downgrade it. So it's pretty easy to do. You just go to nvidia.com, click on drivers, making the assumption here you have an NVIDIA card because most people that play video games uh, use an RTX, right? There's a couple out there, I guess, suppose that are on an ATI card, but maybe you don't experience games crashing for... For whatever reason, you, you would have to search on, on YouTube to find a fix for that particular scenario because it's unlikely that the ATI card would have the same issue in relation to video card drivers, at least. All right, so um, just try, download the latest for whatever model you happen to have. Um, I'm currently running these this model here, and uh, my game was still crashing. So, I, so it certainly wasn't the video card drivers, or if it was, there's nothing I could do about it necessarily unless I wanted to downgrade to an older version. So... Uh, so that's number one. So make sure your video card drivers are good. Uh, the second one, which I really think this is like the big one here, is reinstall Apex Legends. And so um, it's not super hard to do. Obviously, if your internet's pretty slow, it might take a little while to, to re-download. But I can tell you, like for mine, I just did it. And it actually takes less time to full install than it did to upgrade it. So the full install for me was like 20 minutes, right? And so I'll show you how that's done right here. So you've got the Apex or the Origin window open like this. Click the little gear button. Let's go to my game library, click Apex Legends, click the gear button. Yep, yep, uninstall. Uh, I do want, before I click that, I wanna say there is a repair option here, right? You can try this first and see if it helps out. Uh, it is actually step number five, which is odd to me. Like, hey, let's, re let's reinstall and then we repair. I, I don't understand that logic personally because a reinstall should just be like the, the game data and all the files come down, like the binaries and the data and everything, and they come down and they're, they're good. They haven't really been touched with an update process or anything. So, so re really, you shouldn't have to do like a repair after a fresh install. So ideally, if you want to try the repair, which I'd say, why waste your time? But if you want to try it, do this one first and then do this one. So it's real easy. Hit the uninstall button. Are you sure you want to install this? Yes. And it doesn't take very long. It certainly isn't going to be this fast when you go to uh, reinstall it. There you go. Game's uninstalled. So you can validate uh, the location. So you can click on locate game now. And you can see that uh, it's gone. There's literally nothing under Origin Games. It's totally blank. So, uh, so the game has been removed. So then we click on the download button. Accept your language, obviously. Um, I don't do shortcuts. Choose your install location. I'm just putting it on the C drive. And then it's going to try to install a couple different things like the DirectX and some of these Visual C++ runtimes. 
which is probably good because it might validate those anyways and see if they need to be repaired. Maybe a Windows update came along that and mangled one of them. I, just throwing ideas out there. It's entirely possible, I suppose. So there you go. So now the game is redownloading. So that's that's uh, those are the two that I think is going to fix your issue. They got some other ones in here like uh, easy anti cheat priority set it to low in task manager. I mean, I, I don't know. Like, I don't know why this would make. Maybe what the case here would be that your computer is really underpowered and the easy cheat thing is doing stuff and your game is like pausing, if it's pausing, but not fully locked up, but like pausing while you're playing, then maybe you want to set the priority to low there. That kind of makes sense because then you're using less resources on the easy cheat and more uh, anti-cheat rather, and then more resources on the game itself. And then the other one here, I would, I, I don't, I mean, you could try this, but to me, this is really stupid. Like, I, I, if you cap your frame rate, so I mean, like, why would I spend a bunch of money? And in this case, like the 3070 Ti was super expensive. And then I had to get a new power supply. Anyhow, it was like $1,000 to get this 3070 Ti. And I have a 240 hertz screen. Why would I want to set the FPS max to 60 FPS, which is the same as having an old 60 hertz screen? Like, I, I don't know. This doesn't make sense to me. Like, even if it did fix it. I mean, I guess you could play it, but I, I don't, I, I don't know. Like, I don't, I wouldn't, I don't want that solution. That solution is not the right one for me. So anyhow, so those are the, the things that I would recommend you do. Update and or downgrade, depending on where your video card drivers were. But if you haven't updated in a while, definitely go update your video card drivers. Two, uh, reinstall Apex. Fresh reinstall. Delete the thing, reinstall. Now, um, well, I would recommend that you just go in and look at your mouse, mouse sensitivity settings and remember what you have it set to just in case that setting gets deleted by the time you come back in. Um, other than that, it should I think it should literally just keep the file. So if we go to uh, here, you can see like under my user app data roaming origin, um, this is likely where it's going to keep settings for like your mouse configuration or it's going to be under local origin in here it's going to be one of the two of those places that you would have your settings for um, your mouse and stuff like that so um that's going to be it that's those are the only two that i'd recommend at this moment they both of those have fixed for me and i've had crashes with apex a lot and so um i would try both of those and if that doesn't work uh, man i don't know what to tell you like maybe you've got something else wrong with your computer or um oh one last item i guess you could say is if you got a bunch of stuff open like, I mean, I know you got to have like Discord and talk to your buddies and stuff like that, but don't don't be don't have a browser open with like 500 tabs and expect everything to function well. So when you're playing the game, you know, close out all the apps that you don't need and see if that helps, too. Um, that's all I got, guys. I appreciate your time.